السلام علیکم فرینڈز آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ گریٹ سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سی ہاؤ وی کین ایکچولی کریٹ ریلنگ فار آ اسپائرل اسٹیئر کیس سو ہیئر آئی ہیو ڈاؤن لوڈیڈ دس اسپائرل اسٹیئر کیس فرام این آن لائن ویب سائٹ سو دس از این آن لائن فری ماڈل وچ یو کین ایز ویل فائن اینڈ آلسو دس ریلنگ ایز ویل so here we have uh, so actually I have this railing which was given with this spiral staircase which was already present but what I did I actually uh, selected a line and created a shape from it so that we can uh, have a path uh, through which we can actually deform our railing and match it so the better practice is that instead of using this spline as a path we will create a new one because these kinds of supplies they, they create some kind of problems as well along the way so it's recommended to create your own following this path now it's actually very closely uh, followed by the other path but you can actually also do it even more precisely if you give it a little bit more time yeah and remove the other shape that we had because we do not need that now we are getting a problem so the problem is that if we are trying to deform some object it needs to have uh, those segments those kinds of uh, segments which can actually help that object bend in that particular axis so right now we do not have that if you just see this let me just select the lines and if you <coughs> if you just select these lines you can see that all this is comprised of only one segment so, th so there are no other segments which can actually help it to bend so I'll select all those big segments big chunks and we will subdivide them using connect and let's give it 100 segments yeah I think this will work so friends this is the 3d model which I have edited and placed some segments in the x-axis moreover I also placed another modifier which is the X form reset X form so what it does is actually removes the scale and all other transformation values and resets so right now after doing this we will place path deform modifier and we'll pick this path and move it to the path 
along the axis which is the x-axis and then we can move it up on the path now as you can see that the top and bottom sides they are not aligning with one another and the part looks twisted so to correct this we have this twist function here which we can use to actually correct this position somewhere might feel stretched and, and the other places it might feel compressed so to correct that we will no all right okay so we already have placed the modifier which is the normalized spline so actually it uh, relaxes the mesh and keeps it in its original position and doesn't induce any stretching and compressing so the next step would be because if we just look at the bottom that this part of the railing it should be straight but right now it's not straight it is inclined at some angle and similar goes for the other end as well so that's because uh, the path that we are following that's not horizontal that's actually going in the x and as well it's, it's following the xy plane as well and as well the z plane so it's going in the three x it's moving in the 3d plane it's moving in all three axes at the same time so that's why uh, we have some inclination angle at both these ends so to cater that we will have to edit this railing It feels good here and now we need to collapse it and after collapsing we'll need to move it down also please note that this is not the kind of railing that we will be using here because uh, you can see that we need to do make some improvements here we need to put the bars that will actually make their place somewhere here on these steps but right now this is a different kind of railing for a different kind of steps but yeah the purpose here is to understand how we can actually twist the railing after making it so that we can better match it to the spiral staircases so the next step would be to degrees and edit this one and select these ends because this is the part that we need to change here and we need to transform here so let's just put it to screen and sorry align it with it a little bit better so that we do not mess the other axis okay so now let's rotate it so that it's vertically aligned 
Similarly, you will do the same for this upper end. So you will need to make a few edits, but those would be simple. The main thing would be to just make the whole spiral design and uh, transform it along the spiral path and along your staircases. So take care of yourself. Goodbye.